Hey, what's going on everyone? Super excited to be with you this Wednesday morning. Hey, I, I wanted to talk again a little bit about marriage because I found something in James chapter three that I really think is going to transform the way that we talk and handle our relationships. And so I also want to say this, that this, this content for today, this Devo for today is not only about marriage, but it can apply to any relationship, friendships, uh, coworkers, boss. It can apply to moms and dads and kids, everyone. Uh, I believe that this is so important for us to all know, and that is the power of our words, what we say. And the fact is, is that we often think that our words hurt people, but James is pointing out something very tricky here, which is that the words that we use actually corrupt and set ourselves on a different course. And so I believe that with Christ uh, and with the Holy Spirit working in us, that our conversations can help our marriages flourish. They can help our friendships flourish. They can help our workplace flourish with our communication. And so I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit would be leading our words today. Um, I, I wanted to share a little bit. And the reason why this has been put on my heart is that uh, you know, in this quarantine season where we're all tight and we're compact and uh, it can be a little bit tense. If you know Emmy and I, we have big personalities. Uh, so there's a lot of personality in one under one roof. And so uh, this has been an interesting time. And I just feel like recently, and we had a conversation about this, but recently our, our words have been a little bit uh, harsh. We haven't been totally in check. Uh, perhaps a little bit unintentional about the way that we've been speaking with one another. We've been responding impatiently. We've been responding uh, a, a little bit harshly at times. And so I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the importance of uh, us communicating with one another and the power that can be found in that, uh, or perhaps the hurt that can be found in that, not for the other person, but for us. And so uh, I, I found this today, James chapter 3 uh, it, this chapter opens up by talking about the power of the tongue and how this little thing in our body can set the course for our entire body. It can set the course for our entire life. And uh, this is found in James chapter three, verse six. If I can read this and share this with you real quick, this is so powerful. It says this, the tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among parts of the body. This is the big part, okay? It corrupts the whole person sets the whole course of life on fire. And uh, I thought that that was very interesting because a lot of the times in my discussions, I've been so intentional about not hurting others or perhaps whenever we do uh, get into conflicts and I do slip up that my words are, I've always viewed them as only hurting Emily or only hurting my, my parents or my brother or my friends, whatever it is. But the truth is, is that the tongue is actually hurting you if you allow it to say stuff that is not of edification. And so um, if you've ever felt yourself get angry in a conversation, it might not be because the other person is hurtful. It might be because you said something that is setting your course in a little weird of a way. And so um, I thought that that was very powerful, that there is needs to be some intentionality so as to set your course on the right path. And like I said earlier, I believe that the Holy Spirit will help us to walk a straight and narrow path, to have these edifying and building conversations. The Holy Spirit wants us, whenever we do communicate, to have fruit in our words. Uh, it, it says in the Word of God, pray that all of your conversations are seasoned with salt, that they may be received well. And so I just think that there's so much power when we allow our words to be led by the Holy Spirit, but not just power for those who are um, who we are talking to, but it is powerful for us who are saying them as well. And I believe that whenever uh, I find myself under control, when I find myself led by the Holy Spirit and using words that are edifying, that in those tense moments, in those moments where communication can get a little bit tricky, I find that the conversation ends up fruitful because my course is still set straight. If we're unintentional with our words, then what ends up happening is our course ends off shifting from being edifying to perhaps being hurtful, not just for the other person, but for me. And so I wanna say in a season like this, um, be intentional with our words. Be, be reliant upon the Holy Spirit to help us communicate because it is so easy in a season like this, especially when we're very close. And again, Emmy and I talked about this. In a season when we're very close to be unintentional 
uh, about the way that we communicate with one another, to be lax on the words that we use, um, and to see the result, to see the result of that could be dangerous. And I want us, and, and I believe that the church is meant to have healthy, thriving marriages and relationships. I just pray that we would understand that perhaps the way that we communicate can set our course straight today. And so if you've been in conflict with a loved one or if you've been having a hard time communicating, I want to ask you today to lean on the Holy Spirit and allow him to direct your words because it starts with you and it might set your course not left or right, but it might set your course straight so that you can better communicate and have wonderful, fruitful conversations. I believe that marriage and relationships are the foundation of the church and that when marriages are healthy, the church is healthy. And so I want to pray over you today, uh, the ability to watch over your words, to be intentional with what you say so that your course may be set straight. I hope this blesses you. Have a good day.